Okay, so these are the brushes that I use. Okay, these are the tools that I use um, for my face makeup. Uh, this guy, it's like a standard um, foundation brush and it's made for liquid foundation. Also a stipple brush would work. I use one blush brush for pretty much everything. And then I use like a small flat brush uh, for everything else that I need. And then obviously an eyelash curler. And if you're finding that you still need some va va boom, um, what you can do is just trim a little tiny piece off of here with like eyebrow scissors and do it on the far outside of uh, your eye. So I do my foundation or um, tinted moisturizer. I put it directly on the brush. I just use one um, pump for every day. Let's see. Also, an important trick here is if you're applying concealer or something to cover your dark circles under your eyes, you wanna put it on in like a triangle. Here, I'll just demonstrate it. What you wanna do is put it on in a triangle type formation like this. I'm not putting actual concealer on, I'm just showing you how to cover them better. Um, Kind of just you avoid the raccoon look if you start with the triangle underneath your eye like this. Uh, okay, finish blending. So a lot of times with your concealer, if you kind of just do a stripe like that you're gonna have that weird white glowing effect on camera um, and in photos. So if you find that you're really tired and you need concealer, again, dot, 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 sort of smoosh blend in like that. I'm not doing it because, um, also don't look at my mirror. I'm not doing it because I'm just running down the street, but okay, so let that, set and that is how I cover my face um, just with a brush and you can always add more but you can't always take away so start with like a little and then build as you go also if you're going to do concealer do it um, as the first step also I should mention that I do a little bit of foundation or concealer not a whole lot just a little bit to create kind of a let's see here create like a base if you're putting on eyeshadow or highlighter, um, it doesn't need to be a lot. It just sort of acts as like a, a base for it to stick onto um, a lot better than plain skin. <clears throat> okay, these are what I use to create um, some depth on my face, but I like cannot stress this enough. Less is more. So I put a tiny bit a tiny bit on my brush and up, let's see, up here, like towards the back of my face, kind of right under my temple. I mean, you'll see a little goes a long way. And I also cannot stand the liquid contouring products. I just feel like a wedding cake by the time I'm done. So this, just a little bit, and just gently blend up, kind of like in a diagonal, up. And it's just a little bit of subtlety when you need some definition. And stop at about the corner of your eye. 
so you have the illusion of a cheekbone on camera. You can see the difference. Here you get a closer look, you can really tell the difference side to side. And I'm talking like maybe three swipes, light swipes. So again, a little goes a long way, kind of up into the hairline to about the outside of my eye, kind of blending up, 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 and just less product, more blending is my philosophy. So you can see I now have cheekbones. Now for under my chin to give myself a longer kind of neck, I use the medium and I don't do a lot of it. Um, again, I start with a little bit, a couple little swivels in there. I start in the middle. And I come to about the jawline here to darken this middle triangle. Start with a little. Just fill in that little triangle of right about where your neck starts to curve. see a much more defined jawline. Also, I'm showing you what I would do if I was taking photos, but um, you might want to go a little less than this and just see, like build on it, like practice with it. Then also just so it doesn't look like a harsh line, blend that same color like a tiny, tiny bit up the sides like that that same lighter brown. So I now have cheekbones, a much more prominent jawline, which when you're bloated, like I am today, it's a lot more helpful. Plus on camera, as you can see, adds just that little oomph. You can quit while you're ahead if you're happy with that. Um, if you have a sleepless night or you, I don't know, need a little something extra, um, I might add this step in. So again, with the lighter brown, and I kind of go on top of my dark stripe over here, and I just kind of go up and down kind of following the angle. See, you got Also, I got all this stuff you can get at Target. It's not expensive. Um, brushes, sometimes I'll get them at Marshalls or Home Goods or um, TJ Maxx too. Okay, so you kind of just follow that. So you're layering the lighter on top of the darker and kind of just following the curves of your face very lightly and just blending, blending. Mm -hmm. 